In this lesson, we'll learn how to create sections that can scroll over each other and also reveal content underneath. We'll do this all natively in Webflow, so let's get started building this out. So we want this content to appear to scroll over the hero section. To do that, we'll select our hero and we need to give it position sticky, zero pixels to the top of the screen. So for sticky to work, no parents of this element can be set to overflow hidden, so we'll remove overflow hidden from the page wrapper. Now our hero section stays with us while we scroll through the page and this content block is overlapping the hero. The problem though is the hero section is staying with us throughout the entire page. We want it to unstick when the top of the second section reaches the top of the screen. To do that, I have this hero wrapper div. I'll place my hero section inside of the wrapper. We'll add one more div inside of the wrapper underneath the section. We'll give this div a class of spacer and we'll give it a height of 100VH so it occupies a full screen height. Now you'll notice this hero section is sticking to the top while we scroll past the entire wrapper. And when we reach the bottom of that wrapper, it unsticks. So it's covering up the spacer. So what we're gonna do is select our entire hero wrapper and give it bottom margin of negative 100VH so it cuts into the second section by a full screen height. So here we're seeing the hero section, the spacer is covering up the second section on our page. And as we scroll through, the hero section eventually unsticks before we finish scrolling through the second section. So this works great. And now all we need to do is select our hero wrapper and give it a Z index of one. Make sure our content block here has a Z index of two and a background color. And that way it sort of covers up the hero like so. Now on larger screen sizes, we could see the bottom of this hero maybe peeking out past the second content block a little bit. To fix that, we need to make sure this content block has a min height of at least 100 VH, so it occupies a full screen height and we can make sure we never see the bottom of that hero there. In this case, this content block actually is holding a couple sections that I'm gonna have on my page after the hero. We're gonna follow a somewhat similar process for the footer, but we want this anchored to the bottom of the screen. So we'll still drop in a div and we'll give this div the class of footer wrapper. And we wanna drag our footer element inside of the wrapper. We'll drop in another div and we'll give this the class of spacer and it has the height of 100 VH. But in this case, we're actually gonna have the spacer above the footer. And then we'll select our footer element and we wanna give it position sticky, but this time it'll be zero pixels to the bottom of the screen. So what that's gonna do is whenever we're scrolling into the footer wrapper, whenever the bottom of this footer element reaches bottom of screen, it's gonna start to stick to the bottom of the screen while we scroll past the spacer and it'll unstick when the spacer goes out of view. So then we can select our footer wrapper and we wanna give this negative top margin of negative 100 VH. And that way it appears like this last section here sort of reveals the footer like so. Now we could run into some issues on different breakpoints here if the footer is ever taller than 100 VH. So here, because this footer is sticking to the bottom of the screen and it's taller than 100 VH, we never really get to see the top of the footer. So all we need to do is on whichever breakpoint we'd like, select the footer element and change it back to position relative. We can still leave our spacer set to 100 VH because the footer wrapper has the negative 100 VH margin that's canceling that out. So the footer component is lining up in place. And then here we just get a regular sort of scrolling section without the sticky effect applied. Now for our header and our footer section, we were able to use auto height or any height we'd like under 100 VH. But for this section, since we're doing the effect in the middle of the page, we need to give it a height of exactly 100 VH like so. So then we'll go ahead and select the wrapper for the section and we'll give that a height of 300 VH so it's a lot taller than the section. Finally, we can select the section and we can give it position sticky, zero pixels to the top of its wrapper. So it stays with us while we scroll past the wrapper like so. And I just have a background image attached to the wrapper element. Now we want this section obviously to overlap its previous and next section. So to do that, we're gonna select the wrapper and we're gonna give it top margin of negative 100 VH and we'll give it bottom margin of negative 100 VH so that the, this wrapper is cutting into the previous section by a full screen height, and it's also cutting into the next section.
by a full screen height like so and that's working fine so we're also going to select our sort of section element here and we will need to give it a background color i'll give it a background color of pure white and i'm also going to give it a blend mode of screen so it cuts out the black text and black button and we can see the image underneath while we're scrolling past sort of that wrapper so that really wraps up how to do these sticky overlapping sections in Webflow. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll catch you in the next one.